Hey there, and welcome to our Getting to Know Canva series, specifically for travel advisors. And on today's episode, we're going to cover a much talked about program called Canva. My name is Andrew and I'm joined by, of course, the fabulous Brianna. Hey, Bri. Hi, guys. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> it's going good. It's going good. We're back. We're back and we're talking about Canva finally. Finally, right? Yes. So we're so excited to share with some insider tips with you guys that we've been using this program for, gosh, I don't know, a few years now, right? Yeah, almost for everything. Yeah, and it is a game changer. So no longer are the days where you need to go on uh, uh, Fiverr or Photoshop or one of those other outside programs to help you create beautiful, beautiful content. I know I use Canva every single day. I don't know about you. Yes. I think you do too. Definitely use it <laughs> yeah. every single day. Every <laughs> single day. And we're going to share, like I said, with you some of our little tips to help you perfect using Canva. You're going to be a master graphic designer by the time we're done. Yes. No <laughs> more second guessing. What should I post? How can I make this look prettier? Yes. We got you. It's going to be you. a series. So it's going to be a few episodes where we cover different topics for different things for sure but in order to get us started you first need to create an account so Bree is gonna walk us through that process right yes so when you log into Canva first of all it's very easy to create an account just like you create account for any other um, website or social media platform sign up with your email make a password remember your password and you should be good to go this is our home view and as you can see right off the bat there's so many things that you could do just from one click so if you know that you want to say for example go ahead and do social media we can just directly click in and start a social media post mm -hmm. but we just kind of want to go through what is on the home screen so you and can I, fully understand yeah and i just want i don't mean to interrupt but i wanted to let everyone know that we are using the basic version of canva for this demonstration yes but we will also be talking about the premium account, which has unlocked some additional features, as you can imagine. But actually, right now, we're filming this in November of 2024. There's a free trial for 30 days of premium, so might yes. as well just do it, right? Yeah. Yeah. But for this um, demo, we're going to use the, the basic. Yes. And then if you see a little crown here, this just indicates it is um, a pro feature available. So if you see that crown, that means that you are not on pro, you're still on basic. And if you would like to sign up, this will go away and you'll have access to everything. Right. So we're going to talk about what's on the left hand side really quick. So, of course, you have your home button. If you ever get lost, you click this and you come back to your home button or your home screen. Um, we have the projects button here. This is once you start becoming a master creator, you will have all of your projects here and you could just go ahead and edit, you know, jump back in, jump back in, even print if you need to um, and then you have templates all right so speaking of templates though Brie because a lot of people not just cruise planners the yeah. whole world is using Canva mm -hmm. what if you were using a template that like another company was using so a template's a good kickoff point but yes. you also could also just start from the very beginning you could but with templates I would say to make sure you're customizing it so that means you know putting your own pictures maybe changing the font uh, of course, change the colors, throw your logo on there because a lot of people, like you said, are using Canva and you don't want to scroll and see an exact same image <laughs> yeah. that you just pulled up just because you pulled up the template. You maybe changed a few words and you saved it. So I would really, really, really um, suggest going ahead and substituting the pictures yeah. and definitely changing the font and throwing a logo on there. Yes. And this is a major point that we want to make sure everyone remembers, right? Before you create anything in Canva, you want to make sure that you are following the Cruise Planners brand guidelines yes. okay yes. so just make sure that anything we create yes. we are following the, the cruise planners brand guidelines yes we want to be all compliant yes we do um so we can continue yes creating amazing things <laughs> for sure <laughs> yes okay so that is your templates area and then we have this brand kit area but as we can see it is a pro feature and we will we'll get into that a little later so don't worry about that you have your apps area and this is perfect if you are using um, any other apps so for example if you want to integrate something such as your Dropbox if you're someone who has a Dropbox mm -hmm. um, and somebody maybe 
inserts photos for you and you want to use those photos, you can just log into your Dropbox here and it'll basically connect without you having to open another window. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. And then we have this nice cool thing called Dream Lab, which is AI, I'll just tell of you guys course. now. <laughs> so we're not going to jump into that quite yet. So that's uh, basically your home screen in a nutshell. That was great. And you know, if you are like me, and as an advisor, you go on these amazing trips, you know, your phone, we've talked about this in previous yes. YouTube videos, your phone probably gets filled with photos and videos and all of that great content. Yes. So you might want to think about getting Dropbox. That could be another video. That but could. you could put <laughs> all of your photos from your vacations or your clients' vacations into a Dropbox and then sync it directly with Canva and like you're just going to be a machine. Yeah. A content machine. Yes. All right, everyone. So we are going to start making your very first social post using Canva. This is so exciting. Are you guys following along? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click this creative design button and it brings up this white screen. Mm -hmm. On the left hand side, they're basically asking you, hey, what are you going to create? Okay, so if this is for social media, it's already highlighted for you. And then you have all of these things on the top. You have all of the different platforms on the top because it's trying to make sure you get the right size for the correct platform. And it's so much easier to build it, the post from scratch in the correct size for the app you're creating it for. Yes. Then let, let's say we make a post that's a, a Facebook size. And then we're like, well, you know, I also want to post on an Instagram. Yeah. Now I have to go figure out how to resize it. Start from the beginning because Canva gives you the option to to create that perfect Instagram square. Yes. So, for example, let's just say we wanted to do a Instagram reel. So we are on the design tab right here, um, and we have the template section highlighted, which mm -hmm. is perfect. So we can go through all of these like ready-made posts. Mm -hmm and make it our own. So let's see. Let's but what if we go up to the search and we type in We can. Travel. You just kind of need like a keyword, so travel. Let's try it. And when you do that, you have all of these travel-related templates that pop up. All right, so I picked this template, and it's really cute. It looks like a Google search bar. Mm -hmm. um, so it can be utilized for many different things, and it has this video of a train. This is a great example, but if we want to make this our own, we probably don't want to use what Canva has automatically given to us. So why sure. don't we start from scratch? But we do have some um, filters that are currently on this video that we want to get rid of so we can start from scratch. I mean, we're going to leave the little text bar, but yeah. we want to start from the background video from scratch. Yes. So how would we see what's on our canvas, all of the elements? Yes. So you would go to position, okay. and then you would go to layers. Uh, most likely when you hit position, yeah. it'll probably be on this screen, but you'll just click over in this tab and you'll see all of the layers. So as you can see, this uh, one and two is kind of like the search bar. That's mm -hmm. what it's made up of. And then we have a gradient here, and then we have our video. Okay. So you can actually just click on each layer mm -hmm. and delete whatever you want to get rid of. So Perfect. we want to get rid of the gradient, yep. and we want to get rid of the background. Perfect, perfect. So All now right. we kind of have a blank canvas. Yes. So if we wanted to add a new video, we could either add one from our phone via Dropbox, or if it's on your computer, you could yes. upload it through the Uploads button. But let's say we want to use a different background that Canva yeah. has supplied us with. So how would we find that? Okay. So we would go to Elements, okay. and you could just type in whatever you're looking for, very similar to what we did when we were looking for a template. So okay. I'm just going to type in Waves. Okay. And you could use a photo if you want this to be something static. Um, and you could also put this on your story. But if you want to do a reel, I suggest having a video. So I would go to the video section and hit see all. Mm -hmm. So now we see all of these videos of beautiful waves, but mm -hmm. some of them have a crown. So we're not going to select those because those are pro. Yep. But like we mentioned, there are a lot of resources here that you do not have to pay for. Mm -hmm. So something like this would be very nice. And I'm just going to click her. So you can manually just uh, stretch it like this. Or if I can go back for you guys, mm -hmm. you can do one of these you can just do a right click and then hit set video as background oh. I didn't so even it know just that. automatically cool. yeah. fills it for that's you great. Yeah. that's great so 
Now, if you hit play, this is what it will look like. Look how cool that is. And now we don't need the gradient because we have the Yes, the exactly. Right that there. looks awesome. And the cool thing is we can even change the text of yes. the search bar. So, so like, this is not a train. Right. No, it's not. <laughs> so all you have to do for this is just a double click yep. and fill it in whatever you want. So looking, uh, looking to get away? Looking to get away. Look at that. That is so Look at cool. that. So at any point, if you wanted to rewatch what you've created so far, your little composition here, you would just scroll down to the bottom of that play bar, hit play, and then there it is. That looks amazing. Yes. How I'm cool like, is that? Perfect. We're brand compliant. It looks great. That is amazing. And again, if you wanted to add more text, all you would have to do is click on the text button, and yep. you could put your website, your phone number, your, phone number. your social, other social media handles. It's so, so simple. And it's yes. like any other text editor you would ever use. Yes, super easy. Um, we'll get into the details of text a little later, but something as simple as this, you just click it, fill it in. That's it. Love that. Okay, so now we have this really cool reel. Yes. How the heck do we get it out of here? We need to save it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what you're going to do is go to your share button, and it's in the upper right-hand corner. And so there's many things you could do. Mm -hmm. If you're someone who maybe has your Instagram on your computer, I don't know many who do, yeah. um, you could do it straight from Canva, because remember those integrations I was telling you about? Mm -hmm. Yep. Or, you know, what I mostly do is just hit download mm -hmm. and is going to download as an MP4. Right. And an MP4, for those of you who don't know, that is a video file. Yeah. And Canva knows what the file is, so it even says suggested MP4. Now, if you yes. wanted to download this whole thing as a still image with no video, you could. You could download it as a PNG. Yes. If you wanted to make a PDF out of it, I don't know if, why you would do that, but if you yes. wanted to, <laughs> you could download it as a PDF. But... Canva is smart enough to know, hey, look, we think this is an MP4. Again, MP4 is a video file. Yes. And then, boom, you hit yeah. download. And you hit download. That's and it. And you give it a second, and you'll have your file ready. Right. And then Canva does have an app that you can get in the Google Play Store or the, yes. the Apple Store. It's a huge. Everyone uses it. Yes. For us, I find the app a little bit harder to use than just using your good old desktop. Yes. But what the app is also good for, you can design on your computer, mm -hmm. get the app, and then your designs will be in your app, mm -hmm. and then you could just download the asset directly from the app, and it'll put it right into your phone. Yes. Well, Bree, that was an amazing little asset you created, but I think there's probably some more that we can learn about Canva, don't you? Definitely. That's why we have a whole series. We planned. have a whole series coming up for you guys. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave us a comment so that we could take those comments to create more content for you guys regarding yes. Canva. And make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can know when the next installment for the series is posted and we will see you on the next episode bye everyone take care bye.